Alrighty, welcome back. We're inside today. Uh, it was a good weekend. Uh, it, was, it was going to be our 12th annual Rockabilly weekend and it was canceled due to restrictions. Uh, we had a few friends stop by. That was good. Um, we had a lot of fans stop by and, you know, wish good wishes and, and had, it was good talks. Um, everybody's good people. Uh, we met a couple from New Brunswick. Uh, we even talked to them first thing this morning at the subway. Um, they had their toy hauler in their truck there and we got to talk to them. They were really cool people. I want to give them a thumbs up because that's what I think about them. They're pretty cool. Uh, and the reason being is they showed me respect and I want to show it back. And uh, that's how it should go in life. But anyways, this is what I'm on to. I'm on to the bottom of the truck now. I got the fender welded up. Had to weld the fender up to put this piece on because I'm going to weld right over top of it and I wanted it fixed before I put it on there. I will undercoat this truck in any way possible to make it better like even in on the inside of this truck where we bought these on I will make sure something there's an undercoating in there so it does not bust out and that's basically what it's for uh, I'll put crown on that that's what we're using here uh, what's got to go on though is I got to get this front fender on and plunk it on that front fender and I do not have to do anything other than get it tacked on there run my square square tubing along and I have my pieces already cut if you have not seen that yet uh, let's go for it, I guess. Let's, let's go outside for a second. Are we allowed outside for a second? Go outside for a second, just show you what, what we did all weekend. And uh, very happy with it. Looks good. Everybody that done something did a good job. I appreciate it. Sprinkling out a little bit, but it is what it is. But we got the front looking pretty good. We got some rock moved and got it filled in. And basically, what we're trying to do is get it so we can use it. And what I mean by use it is go in through the front door, maybe have some merch in there instead of, you know, going into boxes and grabbing stuff that's, you know, unfolded or whatever. We can put some up and people can just go in and look and that'll be good for us and them. Um, then they can look and see if they like it before they buy it. We have our little car that we've made to go on top yet. We have a place in the middle where we're going to keep that and open that up so it just feels a little different. We're going to cover the big rock up so it's not going to always be big rock there. And I'm hoping to make a showcase out of these two containers here where we can put a couple cars in there and you can look at them and so forth, whatever. Fina's out working this morning. She's looking for all the varmints on the lawn. She's good. Everything's going good, but right now I've got a couple sticks of metal or a couple sticks of square stock that I was going to use on the bottom of the truck when I was first started. I welded this one together, and now I welded this one together. We should take a look at it together. <laughs> look how crooked that is. <laughs> can you see how? Can you see where I welded it together? I tried to weld it together, but the floor probably it probably laid on the floor there. So we got a little bit crooked there. We do. Yes, we do. Uh, that's okay. What I've done is I bought two new pieces. I'm going to take them off. And uh, we're going to put this square stock back on and uh, see what it looks like. And basically, I said to Jolene, I said, I really, it's hard to know exactly where I want it to bring it down there because the fender seems like it's a little bit longer than the sill is and so on and so forth. The car's got a little bit of shape to it. And she says, do it like you always do it. Just look at it. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, also, Jolene got some new gear for us. So she's bringing me up two hats and I get to pick one. I get to pick one. I wore a blue one. I, brought, I wore Brad's auto sales the other day, and that was blue. I'm going to go for a red. I don't really want to get it dirty, but got to have a work hat. And I suggest if you know if you work a lot, use your hilt gear in, in the shop. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, if you enjoy working, that's what I do with it, anyways. I use it. I do. I use it. I don't know if, I, if I'm a four or if I'm a three. That'll work for me. I'll put this in the office, baby. Throw that in the office for Jolene. Actually, someone can win that hat. They can sew at the end of the video. This is a good place to come watch videos because you get to win something, you know? You know, something to pay you back for, for your time. Uh, my glasses get started here. What's going on is, is I have this front, this piece here. I cut this out of a quarter panel of a 75 Chev truck. They're on the back. If you want to see me do that, you can go back a video and watch it, but the quarter panel's right there. The tr just box sides, 
they're a patch panel. I think they were cheap at the time and I used them to replace the rusty ones on the back. And as I was doing that, I just dropped it down a couple more inches to make it look lower than it was. And then when I had that idea, I wanted to make it lower, look lower again. And also the reason I was doing that is because to buy the suspension and put that stuff on and do all that, it was getting where I wanted to go. It would have costed a bunch of money. And uh, I was trying to be, what's that word called, baby? Practical. I was trying to be practical. I had this line here where I set that on there before. I'm just going to take and knock off, just knock off the primer because that is primer there. That's good stuff that's been sitting outside for over 10 years. Yeah, 10 years probably. I'm going to take that primer off. I'm not going to cut the fender off and butt like that. No, I'm not going to do that. And the reason being is I want to put this in place where it wants to be and then I'll go around the back side and cut it off. I'm probably not going to cut it all off anyways because I want the finished shape. If you ever get underneath of it, I want the finished shape. So it looks like this piece here is something that's been added on, basically. Uh, basically, I'm going to have to do some trimming on the front where the, where the lip goes down around. Yes, I am. But I, I more or less, I want the shape. You know, I just want that shape there, and I'll continue that all the way around. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So basically, I'm just going to stick this on here, and then I'm going to run some square stock from there to there and see what goes on. i mark this again. And remember, uh, this is my first time doing this. This is my first time. Oh, first time plugging in a cord, too. I will treat this fender like I did the hood. You know, I'll just go bound the back side, zip it off, seam seal it, be done with it. Um, that's what I'm going to do there. I still, like I said, want this piece finished. When I add this piece to it, you'll see what I'm saying here in a minute. I'm going to clean this off. I must say, the black primer that goes on them panels, and panels before they sell it, is good stuff because them panels have been outside for years and, and there's no rust on them. The black primer's still there. It's, it's a wonder why they don't sell that primer to us. <laughs> Get, so I can tack it on and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to eye it up like like I do everything else it's hard to tell it's hard to tell if the, the floor is not level the car is not level uh, there's a whole bunch of things going on there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for it and put it on so it looks nice and if it looks good I'll be happy and if it doesn't look good I won't weld it that C-clamp, did I take that back? No, I left it right there. Good boy. All righty. I'm going to create another piece of square stock. I'm going to run for a second until I get going where I need to go. And then I might, I might slow down. And I might not. Let's see what happens here. The square stock here. Metal has doubled. Metal has doubled. 87 and a half. I'm gonna go this way. I need a zip cut before I start. Zip cut grinds right there. Plug it in. What's that, sweetheart? Yeah. Sometimes it gets more. You know, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, but thanks for the offer, sweetheart. Jolene's looking amazing this morning. She's got her hair all straight.
Got a little shorts on. She's just a doll. 87 and a half. 87 and a half. I'm using a new piece of square stock just because it's not welded together. It's not bent. Basically, I think I'm going to do exactly what I did last time, get it in place. Yeah, I'll just tack one end on, lift the other end up, and we'll get it in place. We'll do that. And the reason I'll do that, it went on fairly easy last time, so we'll just do it the same this time. But this time, it's going on for good. We've got our fender fixed. Ah, ba -ba -ba. Also, the car has a little bit of this to it, or the truck. I keep calling car a truck, can't make up my damn mind. But anyways, it's got a little bit of this to it. It would nice to be nice to have a little bit. Just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. You see, just a little bit. So, I'm going to tack that on. How do you like the red hat? Thank you. My beautiful fiance got it for me. Now we're going for the ground. Looking for the ground. Where's it going? There it is. I tried that last time, didn't I? That didn't go so well, did it? No, it didn't. That didn't go so well either, did it? But here we go. I'm just going to tack this end on. Make sure I get it the right way. These glasses. Ooh. Now, I've got that bent a little bit. Yes, I do. When I look down this way, it's a little bit bent too, so straighten her out. It's that easy. Thank you, sweetheart. I know everybody's saying jack it up, jack it up. By the time I get it jacked up, I'll be done. That's the basic way I look at things like that sometimes. Also, getting down and up is not a bad thing. Sort of an exercise, is it not? Sort of. I just keep telling myself, I either use it or I lose it. So I do not, <laughs> I do not, um, does not bother me get up and down because I, like I, it makes me feel better about that. You know, if I don't use it, I'll lose it. Now, that was in there. Just want to see. That looks pretty good going along there, you know, like that right there looks. Super, actually. All right, so I know what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to have to kick this out further or cut more off. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that square stock to set in that front fender better. That's what I'm trying to do. And uh, it's got to come down some. And that, to me, looks pretty good on the side of that fender. Hmm. Got to cut some more of this. On the bottom of this, got to cut some more out. Or I'm going to cut more out.
I'll get it sitting on there. And then what I'll do is I'll stand back, see if it looks good or not. A little better, a little better. Uh, got nothing to set on, but no ledge to set on now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tack that right on there. I don't know if I want to tack it that way or not. Nope. Can't do it that way. Have to put it on and do it. It's not going so good right this second. Not going so good right this second. There we go. Now we're stuck on there. Just wanted to drop it down some. Let me get back and take a look at it. All this stuff, I have to make something there. I have to cut that, make that. Fold that around, do whatever I gotta do to make that fit nice. And what I mean by fit nice, I mean this, this body line has to come around and make that nice. So something's gonna have to be done there, obviously. Just gonna step back in here and check it out. Down just a little further. I want the same distance along. I got, I'm looking for this distance here and the distance at the other end is what I'm looking for. Ah. And I'm looking on the sill part, not the fender. The fender's, the fender's got a little, rolls down a little bit further than the sill, so I'm just gonna keep along the sill. But it still looks like it could come down just a, just a little bit. that off looks like it come down just a little bit doesn't it what do you think I'm asking Jolene just like a little like not very much but a little that looks good don't it huh that looks good all right this is what I'm gonna do then Turn this back on, put my helmet on, and weld it on. That's basically what's going to happen. Just going to tack this on. I'm looking to get burnt in that little tiny cradle of my hand. I know I was by doing that, but I did it. Now, that's not going to move. I just wonder if that's holding that out. What's going on with that? It's hitting right there. looking at it for a second uh, this piece is getting cut off this is not going to be hanging in there this piece is not going to be there I mean, this piece is getting cut off on a 45 there so I can 45 that piece to it then it makes it look like a nice panel on the other side we still have the finished fender when we come to it just wondering just wondering I'm going to cut that off <laughs> it's always fun doing it under the under the camera under, under the camera's eye because if I get to watch then I get to see you know my mistakes and what I should have done what I should not have done but right now at the present second I'm going to cut this off <laughs> with 
with a new blade on, I will. And I'm just cutting that off because it's not staying there. We're coming up here with this. We're going to 45 this. We're going to make this outside skirt look like a panel from the underneath. I don't want to make it look junky. I want it to make it look, if someone gets underneath of it and sees it, they'll say, wow, that's how they've done it. I don't know if they'll say wow or not, but they'll say, wow. No, they, they're going to say wow. That's what I said. <laughs> they're going to say wow. <laughs> Get this off. Getting very much closer. Got to go to the other side and put the other one on. Put the front splash pan on. Getting closer to doing, getting the sandblasting on, done. That's what I want to do. I want to get the sandblasting done. And the sandblasting for the reason being is it's another visual to get to see what it's going to look like uh, before it's body filled, primed, and painted. Forget about that piece. Alrighty. Now, just looking at this, I want to make sure that comes out far enough. Let's do this. Um, no, I don't want to do that yet. I'm looking for the same distance all the way out, all the way along. That's what I'm looking for. That can go in further. Yes, it can. And that can come out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, this. I got this square stock sticking out a little bit too far. So I'm just going to unzip it. And push it in now that I got the bottom cut off because there's nothing stopping it now. There shouldn't be. And I might have to zip that off there just to pr pull this out a little bit. I'm not sure yet. But we'll soon find out because it's nothing too major. You can see how that just slid underneath there and fit in there nicely, or a lot better. Also, that can come out some. Let's let's slide it together, no matter where it's at. How's that? I just want to make the edge go together nice. That's all. Better. Talking about this edge here, we're going to have to do something with that later. I'm taking tack this in here. Push that in there, I suppose. Alrighty, let's go with that for now. We've got a line going down there. Now I've got, this piece is getting cut off once we get the 45 marked on. What I've got going on here, ooh, is a booby trap. That's what I've got going on there. I've got, I took an eight inch piece, I rolled it through, cut it in half, so each of it has a little bit of a, a bend to it. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put them on. That's just tacked on the corner still. Good, 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 whole wee shreddies. Just gonna cut them off. This one on this side. One thing I will say, we're a little bit round in the center. We're a little bit round. I bent that a little bit. That looks really good right at the present moment. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Cut these off. Fell off. to grind them up. That's what I'm going to have to do. Just clean them off a little bit. Maybe before I do that, I'm going to see if I can make it fit. And what I want to do is make it fit. I want to make it to go underneath 
the door skin itself. Did I have that one cut? Yes, I did. Is this the right end? Yes, it is. It says back. As I have that on there, what just happened? Oh, that little weld broke off. We'll do this. I wasn't tacking it for a long, a long time, was I? Just a little while. We'll do that. I'm thinking I want that in there. Maybe I want it out. Maybe it wants to be out. Maybe I should check it. No, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Looks all the way good down the line. Got to make sure. Got to make sure. Looking good. Looking good back so this piece goes on here what i'm trying to do is is i want it to fit underneath that door right there on that lip where we got that welded on that's where i want it to make it fit and i want to make it fit down this edge let it set there that fits get down on it Come here now. Come on. Fits there somewhat, don't it? I'm gonna zip cut some off. I'm gonna have to. Put, I want to put a brace in there too. I said I want to do that. I think I should do that in a couple places. To be honest with you. Alrighty, I gotta cut this off a little bit. Bum 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 bum. I'm going to use a piece of tape, and I'm also going to use the grinder instead of anything else. I haven't, the shear will not cut it that long. Uh, yeah, it's plasma cutter. I'm just cutting off a little tiny bit. Hard to drag it along that. zip cut really quick if I can. Well, I know I can. Uh, it'd be a good time to turn down your TV if you thought you needed to. Knee pads on. I had it on once before, but it was just tacked there. This time I'm trying to put it on for good, so it's going to take a little more time, a little more precision, a little more going back. Uh, that's for sure. Let's get this grinder going. 
clean it off. Tell it's got a little bit of a roll in it as I lay it flat on the floor. Ah. Don't know if it's exactly going to fit or not. Do not know yet. And what we do is we keep trying and playing all the time. And I want it to fit right underneath that seam. I want it to. Not bad. Not bad. Who that's not bad. It's good. That good. So we're up there. See, we're right in there with that seam. So I like to weld that right in here. Down here, we need a little more off. This end looks nice. I can go a little bit ahead. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Hmm. I think what I want to do is I want to tack that to the sill so it can't go nowhere. I want to put a piece in there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Got a small piece here, do I? Yes, I do. I guess it doesn't matter. Cut a piece off. I want to put a piece of square stock in from here to the sill so this does not move. We're connected up front, we're connected in the back, we'll have something connected in the middle, and we should be okay. Just cutting a piece off. If I want one or two pieces in, I'm not sure. There's enough for two. <laughs> too close to my fingers. Too close to my fingers.
doing a little quicker by getting burnt. <laughs> okay, you just gotta sh shorten that up some. Metal's gonna go from there. That's gotta win a bit. Let's shorten it up some again. That way there, the metal's gonna be out here. You gotta lay on this. This is out quarter or an eighth. We're in out an eighth, so we have to go in more than an eighth. Take it in some more. Let's do it. That's all. Ouch. Yeah, it's hot. We'll just take that, put that like that. Gotta scoop a little bit out here. I'm gonna get a pair of ice grips to hold it. Just be a little bit nicer. And I need two, I, I think I'll put two of those in just because um, I think it, it needs it. And the reason for support to hold that, and we get the metal welded to it and the square stock going along, that'll be good. One, one might be fine. I can always put another one in after, but I'm not sure if that's the time to do it. Like that, and I want it. red hat off not as beautiful as you though baby not as beautiful as you and that's for sure she wants to check my mic she wants to touch me boys god love her now we're still in the same spot should I'm gonna take a look anyways because if I don't things can happen it's still on the same grade on the on the on the sill all the way along I'm liking it. It is, it is. I'm gonna look back here and see if the, the shape is here the same. And it could probably come out a little bit. But uh, here we go, we're gonna weld this piece in. What I'm looking for is down this line here, that line, looking at all of it, trying to get it in the right place. And that's the end of it. <laughs> that's the end of it. Curve part goes on the sill. Like where it's at. I'm going to put it right there. And why right there? Because the seam there. I didn't nail that on at all. Now. Yeah. I'm going to nail that on the sill there. Should have the air with me. It's not going to, I think, warp there or anything. But the fact is, uh, we all know that things move once you get the heat going. And uh, I'm, I may as well control it if I have the chance to. And I can control it with an air hose. Probably should have had it ready, but I didn't.
wire there hanging there I want to pull off. Alrighty. I want to put a little meat more on, a little more on this one. Don't know why, but I do. back and take a look at it, see if I want it in or out. I like it where it's at. Where welding square stock is different than welding sheet metal. Knock it back just a little bit so the sheet of metal will lay somewhat flat on it. on there nice. That is not going anywhere. Eh. Could have another one. Let's put another one in just in case. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, stronger than it should be maybe. And we got two cut here. All I have to do is cut another one. I should have used that one as a pattern but I did not. Da -da 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 -da. I can guess though. Lord knows I like to guess. The good Lord knows I like to guess. Oh, guess I didn't plug it in. Mm, this is what I want. No, what I'm doing is, is when I guess that sort of stuff, I'm looking for the back of back side of, or I guess I can look at the front, how long the front is and see how the long the, the 45 goes this one and try to make it the same. Not bad. Oh, plugged in the wrong one, didn't I? Did so. Do it again. And again, and again, and again. That looks better to me. That fits. There we go. I'm just gonna stand back and give myself, and just try to send them up a little bit. We'll go. Because it doesn't really much matter. Let's put a couple in it. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, going that way. That'll work. All right, need my helmet on. Good enough 
to me. Good enough for you, baby? Yeah. Good enough. Sometimes that galvanized metal, or not sometimes, it welds funny because it's got a coating on it. strong now. The skateboarders could even use it. Uh, which one did I ever use there? Had the flapper wheel on. I want this one. I use three grinders. I use a zip cut. I use a hard disk. And I use a sanding wheel. That's the three grinders that I use full time. Watch your eyes, sweetheart. Alrighty. Looks like we're we're cooking with gas right now. We, we're we're doing pretty good, I think. Looks okay. Actually, I want to tack it on there. See where I got my helmet. Hey, just tacked it on a little bit better, so it didn't fall off. Alrighty. Got a piece of metal here. Nothing moved on me. I hope. Basically, what do you got to keep doing? You got to keep going, keep looking, keep. We're a little bit. A little bit. I'd like to almost have that one there I just put on there, cut off and put back, push down a little bit. This one here seemed to come up a little bit. I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to do it again. I want it down a little bit. Now, I'm just going to tack it. Just looking down the edge of it, didn't like it. Just looking down, that's all I did. All right, I just moved it a little bit. Now I like you. Now I like you. I just rub, pulled it back on. And that's how easy that can move. <laughs> that's how easy it is. I'll just blow it off.
ready to try it again. So, uh, by watching me, I think that you would understand that things get tacked on and took off all the time. That's how I do it all the time. If it does not look right, I take it back off. Not bad. I want to put something underneath that. Just one second. Want to bend it down a little bit, that's all. Go easy, Hilti. Now I'm happy. What happens is I've got a nice roll going on this way. One part, it was tucked up a little bit. Where I was hitting, it's just tucked up a little bit, and I just want to bring it down to have a high spot instead of a low spot. Uh, high spots you, ger you generally don't see, lows you see. So if I had a low going along the bottom of it, it tucked up, what I mean by low, if it's not going this way, if it's not going this way, and it's tucking up, you'll, you'll notice it. So basically, that's what I'm trying to get out of it in a handbag. And it looks good. Alrighty, let's get some pieces tacked on here. Alrighty, we got her tacked in place. Everything's going there. We got braced up both places. It's looking good. I think I'm gonna have to turn that welder back on and start tacking things slowly. Anybody can do this to the car. You could do this to a new car. You could do it to an old car. You can do it to any car. Yeah. What I'm. It's nice. What's that, baby? You want my clamps off? No, I can't. I basically, what, what I'm trying to do is. What I'm doing here is making sure it fits underneath that seam there on that door. That's where I want it. And we're not quite there yet in a few places. As you can tell, we're not there in a few places. You gotta take it down a little bit more from there back. It needs to come down a little bit more. And how I'm gonna take it down is I'm gonna sand it down instead of cutting it down, I guess. Well, I could cut it. Ah! Let's do this again. I've got to mark it before I do that again to get this helmet off. I've got to take a little bit more off that piece of metal because I want it underneath. I want it underneath of the door skin so it takes away. That would take filler. That would take an 18th, you know, an 18th of filler to fill that. When I weld this to it and, and flush it off, it could barely take anything. If it, you know, I did a real, real good job, it could barely take anything. Like that, and you can see how I've got it in there. That's good. So, ready to boot there somewhere, all the way back. No, nope, not all the way back. Put it there somewhere. Just sand a little bit off it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. I'm trying to get a little metal in my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one, zip cut. I use this, I guess, sand it off, try to make it look the best I can. I'm 
put them on. I watched a friend of mine sand his thumb off one time. Not interested. Not interested. what happens and that's all we can do see what happens Ooh, look at that now that's right underneath there Just, that one's fitting that one's fitting good that one's going good gotta play the violin a little bit more There. I'm going to tack it on at one end. I'm going to tack it on with this where it fits the best. And then we'll go from there. Oh, pull my mic off, sweetheart. Quick me up again. Just talk to you Good enough. Can you just hold this for a second? Yep. Sorry, people. Just trying to fix my mic. Bear with us. Thank you, sweetheart. No worries. Trying not to make you sick, people. With the camera work, trying not to make you sick. Jolene wins the award for the best film in YouTube. Good job, Jolene. Good job. Ah, uh, now. Tacking this on. Yes, I am. I'm going to pull this through all these cords for now. I'm going to kick these back. Because these are not being used, not too much anymore at right this second. Basically, what I want to try to do is, and another thing too, the reason why I'm having to shave this piece and make this piece do what I'm doing, because let's face it, there's a different distance between here and there than it is where it's round. Um, I also have this round a little bit, so I'm helping it the best I can, but there is a different distance. What I'm doing is, is I guess you call that, you would, uh, what we call that is scribing it to the car. Scribing it. What a thing I have to do here. Alright. Let's hold my foot up there. Bring it back where I want it. Wasn't very promising sounding, was it? Jesus. Wow. I got I got a weld back there. It's right in that seam. Beautiful. I couldn't ask any better. No. Tag him. Hmm. Just gonna tag along the bottom here and try to get it both the same as all the way along. Uh, 
not really. What I'm bringing, it, what I'm doing is, is I'm bringing it right out to the round edge, and then I'm welding it, and that way there I can grind it off both on both sides. What kind of wire speed I got going on there? Sometimes it works a little different because the wire works better other times than others. Why is that acting so funny? Acting like it don't want to come out when it's not attached. Yeah. See that right there? That's what I wanted. Wow, that fit long. We know that the bottom went nice because the square tubing fit and the straight line fit. I did not do any shaving on the other side. So the, the straight cut that we had on here and the, and the square tubing we know is fitting really nice because of the way it's going on. No big gap. Do, 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 do. Oh. I wasn't going that far, did I? Not that far, I didn't. We'll just wait for a minute on that. The reason we're going to wait for that because we got another piece going on there. But we sure can go up here and tack this on. And what I've got that, you can see that right there. It feels nice and flush. It does feel flush, nice and flush. I'm going to go here where it's tight. what it is. Looks good. Check that sort of stuff. Got to keep checking it. If you do not, do not check it, it could move on you. You know what happens after what happens then. Uh, you don't check it. You end up taking it back off and doing it again. This is really nice along here. I'll be able to grind that off so you won't even be able to tell because this piece is meeting that piece, which is good. Fabulous. Now I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna zip cut that together to make that where I want it to fit. Let's do a When you're welding, you should always try to make sure your cord's not tangled up. If it does, it just makes it harder time for the wire to come through. That's all it does for you. All right. Happy with that. Square tubing will be used as the body line. 
So when we grind it off, we'll use the square tubing as the body line. We're going with that for now. All right, let's get on our front piece. This is tacked on now. Uh, that fell off because of a, a poor tack, did it not? And it's not tight, so I want to grind it back off. I put a little tack on it where the tack is, it pulled off. Now it's got the piece of metal tack where the tack well was, and it holds it off. To try to shove in on that fender there, I'd rather pry it together than want to let that off. We don't need that no more. That could just cause me a problem. <laughs> sure I do tack it on tight. Yeah. That's my distance away. My piece comes up here. I'm going to 45 that. I got to take, the, take that off. Alrighty. I gotta cut another piece off there, I see. Nope. Still got it. Gotta sand some edges off it where I tacked it on from before. Got my marker right there. Alrighty. Going from there. That fits underneath there. Awesome. Go from there to there. Cut that off. That's going to be zipped off. And then we should have our piece. Zip cut that off. And zip cut them both off, I guess. Be the easiest. I want to happen. I want this piece to look like it's added on and the fender and all the underneath is still there. We'll have to cut the lip and make that a little bit different. But when you go to look underneath of it, at least it's going to look clean, not all jagged. Not all jagged. Basically what we want, just a nice clean piece. Alright, our 
we're going to change grinders, go into the sanding wheel, try to clean this up, so this one's going to fit. Da, da, da. Just going to clean it up again. Anything on the back side of your metal will hold you off. Got to get it out of there. Got to go. Got to go. that off, that piece off. going to take and knock the stuff off right here. Zip that cut fit down the other end as I can. Gonna try it. Yeah. I'm gonna let that hold that in. Probably should probably should have started up this end probably. Get off me leg, I'm booby trapped. Come down. Now yeah, that's fine. A little bit over there on that, and that's fine. I do this. Awesome.
I'm checking for to see if it's flash. It's what I'm looking for. Got a little issue right here. Remember. Just a little one. Just gotta take cut that off just a little bit. Or I probably could zip that and probably yeah, you can see where I cut it wrong. <laughs> disc need to cut a little bit off the bottom just need to flush it up a little bit I see I had a bad cut with the this will do it I'm hoping gotta put the grinder back first together let's do it Trying to get it up on the ledge of the square tubing and let it run let it run along. Now I got it set in there nice. Right now it's sitting in there nice. good down here. Yeah, it's fitting good right there. Get a little overlap there. Push it in, be a little distance away. We got the other end to tack up. I'm just going to push this in, make sure it's flushed. What I mean by flushed is means that it's both at the same level. Ah! Hard to. There we go. Now we're talking. Awesome. Take that off and cut that up straight that way instead of having that little corn there, maybe. Not sure. Cool. All righty. Let's push this on. Brand new 
metal to weld to where the fender is rotten. That's nice. Let's get this one tight down this before we get this one tight. Bang it with a hammer. Zip that. Hmm. Ba, ba, ba. My baby getting me the tools. Hey, dude. me the welder she's helping me out boy she's helping me out she's better than good she's fantastic all right Hit. volume down was it okay good volume was good boys I guess Back that one on it's about welding together here just wanted to And that's, I guess, the side curtain tacked on. Unless I look at it and it don't fit, I cut it off. I would. It's going good. Looks good. So that's what's going to happen is we've got them. When we look underneath that, we're going to see square tubing and sheet metal. Other than that, we've butt welded the corners on together so it will look like one nice panel on the back side of the fender. We're going to do something here. I, I want to keep that back fender. I might just cut the line off and that's, or the, yeah, the line off here. That's about it. Uh, other than that, there's, there, there's a welding project. We're going to have to come down here in the corners right here. We're going to have to make a little something. And that won't be hard, like a little piece of metal. I'll draw a little, a little body line that goes, makes it go around. And then I'll weld it on there and I'll cut whatever access is off and fill it in. Let's give away a hat and shirt to the lucky uh, YouTube commenter. Let's give a hat or a shirt away. What do you think, sweetheart? You all right with that? Look good? Let's go for it. Let's give a hat or a shirt away. I want to thank everybody for the good comments and whatever comments are coming in. I want to thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, Letty's Car Show, September 2nd to the 5th, the world's best oldies festival. We are going to be there. If you want to meet us, we are going to be there. We'll say hi. We'll do whatever, you know, it helps out on the carriage. It will be there for them. Uh, they were nice to us last year or the couple years before they were nice to us. And uh, we want to repay the favor. And uh, that's how it goes. Also here, in, you know, in, in my little town, mine and Jolene's little town, there's been a few um, not so good things happen. And life is so precious. Life is so precious as everybody... You know, we run around and we fight and we holler and we chew. When things happen, like, you know, a couple things that's happened here, you really, you really got to reflect and ask yourself sometimes, is it worth to feed the bad heart when, when things are so precious? So if uh, we want good stuff, we want good stuff, we want good stuff, and life is precious and... Uh, Maybe reflect, 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 reflect. Life is precious. Which one do you want to do? I haven't done one in this one yet, so I just want to 
Whatever one you want to do it on, sweetheart, I'm easy. Just not cheap. Or maybe I'm cheap, not easy. I don't know. If you're healthy, you should try to be happy. You should try to be happy. And make sure that you know um, and reflect what makes you happy so you know. Be aware of what makes you happy. Jolene makes me happy. Oh, we need to open the door, get some, get some internet. Moving forward all the time makes me happy as we're doing things. We try to keep moving forward nonstop. We try to. Um, we've only got so much time in the day to spend, and we try to spend it every day. Or I do, anyways. I'm going to try it again. We live so far out, we got to come out to hunt. I mean, get a computer. Oh, we got 100 comments. 200 comments. 299. 338 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it, you know. Good stuff. Trickster68. Awesome camera work. Miss Jolene. I agree with you 100%. Trickster. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for complimenting her on her efforts because she does just as much effort I do there. She puts on there. It's just you don't get to see it, but you're a visionary. You can see it. You can tell. Thank you, Trickster. You get a hat or a shirt of your choice. Thanks, YouTubers, and thank everybody for the comments. We'll be back tomorrow.